Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness here in Connecticut. And what a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful day. Look, I know you guys don't want to hear about the weather, but I don't care. <laughs> it is gorgeous. The reason I give you the weather is because good weather, bad weather, cold weather, whatever, has a lot to do with what I've done before I made the video. Whether I was out or I got to practice, I didn't get to practice, whatever the case may be. Okay? But whatever. It is gorgeous, and the next seven days are going to be even better. It is absolutely beautiful. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Thick tongue. Thick tongue. Some are genetically gifted like Maynard. Others have to make it thick, uh, but whatever. We will talk about that. Um, I have played a little bit, so give me a little honk and we'll get to it. Double season hiding after two hours of playing. Beautiful weather. Life's good, man. I don't ask much. I'm very easy to please. <laughs> anyway. Thick tongue. I love that picture of Jerry and Maynard. It's such an iconic picture. Two of the just the greats of chops. One a performer, one a pedagogue. I mean, I just love that picture. But if a picture could speak a th t tell a thousand words, look at how thick that is. Now, the thing about it is, man, <laughs> I'm going to compare that to the, to the cow, right? I mean, jeez. Unbelievable. Anyway, now that we talked a lot. That picture was taken after he had his friendlin clipped uh, over in India for a yogic custom. I don't know if he knew what he was doing with the tongue, whatever, but if he never had that, that thick, I mean, look how thick it is. Now, most of our tongues are actually quite thick. All we're actually aware of is the tip, but they go way back down to the, down the bottom of the throat. You can feel it. You can feel it right there. Anyway, um, but thickness. Now, guys, as you go higher, you have to thicken the tongue. It has to be thicker. I say firmer, more compression. In order to do that, you have to compress. Now, it's back to the physiology 101. Okay? Whenever you flex a muscle, the muscle expands and it goes into different ways. Okay? Most of the muscles, genetically speaking, with you know some you know differences are expanding and going in the same way, okay? But we are flexing our muscles, flexing our chop muscles with the bottom lip, the tip of the tongue, into the soft inner rib. And as you press into that firmly, both muscles expand. The bottom lip, see how it's going different ways? The tongue you're not going to be able to see. Okay? But this is what I want you to do at the moment. Okay? Just put the tongue against the soft inner end of the bottom lip. That's all I want you to do. Just leave it there and feel where it goes. Where it's pressing against. It's not pressing for sure, but lying against. Okay? Just feel where it's going. Okay? While you're doing it, without even spit buzzing, just press against your bottom lip. See how that's flexing inside of your mouth? We already talked about the bottom lip, but you see how the tongue is flexing inside your mouth? Now, I personally 
and you guys will too. But I personally feel immediately the tongue pressing against the side of my teeth <coughs> all the way back to the back molars, bottom and top. <laughs> to go up an octave, all I did was press the tongue against the bottom lip, the tongue thickened and compressed against the sides of the teeth, <coughs> and the note went up. That's all I did. I wasn't thinking about lips other than the bottom lip. I wasn't thinking about anything other than that. Okay, I wasn't thinking about syllables or anything. Okay? Now, when I go into the extreme upper register, when I go into the extreme upper register, okay, my tongue goes to the side, of course, it continues to the side, but it goes up to the Please middle of the tongue. We can't get to the phone right now. Please leave your mouth. name, number, and a message, okay. and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Cool. Anyway, goes up to the roof of my mouth. Now, I talked about this with some students just yesterday. Okay? Guys, you are not trying, trying to make it go anywhere. It will go there naturally by flexing. The only thing you're thinking of is this. You're not trying to take the, the, the middle of your tongue and by, from there push it up to the roof. You're not trying to do that. It will happen naturally. That's all you're doing. That was an octave. And all I was doing was this. Now, guys, as you go higher, you have to thicken it more. Okay? That will do a couple things. Give you the compression, obviously. It will take all the strain off your lips, not only with your, with your arm pressure, but that will cause you to relax your corners even more. The more you relax the corners, the thicker you can make the tongue. That's just the way it works. Now, completely relaxed corners, dormant, okay, and press. See how, the more you relax it, now, tighten them, Ah, making funny faces here, but you, you, you're sunk if, if, you, if you relax, if you tighten the corners. Immediately when you tighten the corners, the tongue will go back. Sometimes the tongue will go back, which will cause the corners to tighten. The chicken and the egg theory, who cares? It doesn't matter. Okay? But both of those things together, the more compression you get, the less you have to blow. And that is completely 100% open-ended. You can, go, you can go two octaves higher than me. Jerry did. 80 years old, he's, he's playing quads. I have no desire to do it, so I stay here and teach from this, from what I got. Okay? Now, but that is entirely up to you. And what do you do? Just more of this. Okay? Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I'm going to say right from the get-go that what I'm about to say is pure conjecture I don't know. And all my haters are going to say, well, you don't know. You're an idiot. You're just taking... Okay, I don't. It's conjecture. Okay? But I do believe, like Maynard and all those cows, I think our, our um, idols were genetically gifted with large tongues to begin with. Harry James? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And guys, if you have any pictures of our idols sticking their tongue out like this, let me know. Okay, I do not have a genetically gifted thick tongue. You have to make it thick. That's okay, but just by the way we did it. Um, Horace Fisher, absolutely, absolutely. Um, Vlado, absolutely. Eric Parks, absolutely. These are normally thick tongues to begin with. Um, Bill Chase, you bet. Um, Frank Cataravic. Mel Broyles, absolutely, they had thick tongues to begin with. Genetically started that way. Doc Schutzer, you bet. Naka Ryankoff, absolutely. Crappy mouthpiece, but absolutely has a thick tongue, genetically to begin with. Do I know that for sure? No. Grow all their tongues through the teeth? Yes, but I do believe that gives them a leg up. If the tongue is in the right spot, you could have an enormous tongue and it's not in the right spot and it doesn't do you any good. Okay? but it has to be thick. Firm and thick. The firmness is depending obviously on the register you're in and the type of tone that you want to get. If you want to round out the tone a little bit, yeah, it's not as firm. If 
you want to play the same note, but sound like uh, you're in a maintenance band, you firm it up. Complete and total control with the thick tone. Guys, keep that in mind. Not only in the right spot, but thicken it up. All right? Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all. Thank you.